Praise the Lord, everybody. As you know, um, if you've spent any time around me, I'm really big on not leadership, but spiritual leadership. There's a big difference between leadership and spiritual leadership. Spiritual leadership takes its confidence in God. And today while I was reading, I came a came across um, something about self-assurance. You know, self-assurance is someone having confidence in their own skills or their own abilities. Spiritual self-assurance is having confidence in God's abilities, in God's um, capability or ability to get you through and having confidence and faith and trust in the Lord no matter what. End time leaders that we are today have to be very careful that um, we do not rely on our self-assurance, but we have spiritual self-assurance. Hebrews chapter 10, 37 says this, for yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. This is the end time. This is talking about the coming of Jesus Christ. Now the just shall live by faith. And then it says these words, But if any man draw back, if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. It seems to me, according to the word of God, that um, the very essence of God disdains in time draw back men, men who won't persevere, men who have no spiritual self-assurance, confidence in God. And spiritual is the key word. It's a self-assurance that flows uh, from a foundation of faith and trust in the Lord. That's exactly what caused David to look Goliath in the eye and not turn around. It's what caused Caleb to say, we are able because of God. It's what caused Jochebed to disobey the orders of Pharaoh and hide baby Moses regardless of the consequences. So never forget, we are God's apostolic men and we must not draw back. And that only comes from having a spiritual self-assurance in our God. He is well able to do anything that his word says he will do. God bless you today. Be patient, be confident in the Lord. Don't draw back.